I was about to showcase you guys the Vegeta 5 star. But all of a sudden, I got this guy. Hey, what up, Snow Squad? It's your boy Snow, and we are back again here on the All Star Tower defense. And oh, I'm so tired today. This is always going to be my problem whenever an update hits because there's a lot of contents that I really wanted to push but it's just really impossible guys because I'm the one editing, doing my thumbnail, all those stuff and of course recording. But anyway, yeah, I was really about to go ahead and record for Vegeta 5 star but then again, look at the banner guys. Look at the banner and yeah, just don't ask me how much gems I actually spent for this one. I think it costed me like, um, I don't know, maybe 2,000 gems or 2.5k gems. I don't know. But yeah, it was really not a very lucky one. Anyway, guys, on this video, we're going to showcase. And of course, we're going to find out if he's good or not. Because I just got him fresh from the banner. So I haven't used him yet. But before we get into it, if you are first time here in my channel, come on. Subscribe to our channel, guys. And it's going to be really awesome if you will be part of our 80k squad. Because we are about to hit it soon. And freeze that thumbs up button as well to have some mega rare luck. Anyway guys, not gonna lie, I haven't watched uh, MHA yet, but I know that this dude is in the same anime where Deku is. Might be wrong, maybe I'm embarrassing myself again in front of y'all, but <laughs> yeah, this is all might. I'm actually kind of familiar about his face because, you know, it's a mainstream anime anyway. So here is all might and I'm already equipping him at level one guys, only at level one. He will be damaging 40 per 5 seconds with an awesome 25 range. So I'm not sure if he's going to be a hill unit, but with this range, I'm guessing that he is going to be a hill unit. But anyway, guys, you know, let's just go to, no, not on infinite mode, you know. Let's just go to story mode so that it's, it's going to be faster. Okay, we are now here on the Baby Namek world. And I really love asking you guys about some anime stuff because... Obviously, you guys know more than I do, and you're even laughing at me because <laughs> of me mispronouncing their names. But yeah, we just cannot actually put him right off the bat because we need 650 cash, guys. 650 cash to summon this dude. But let's just try to see if he is gonna be a ground. Okay, all right, he's a ground. Wow, really? 25? Whoa, okay. 25 range and already it seems that he's already gonna be a semi aoe oh this is looking good this is looking good okay all right so anyway let's just wait for our dio to do the job and get us some cash all right we now have enough cash to summon him so 650 there you go wow yeah he is already a semi aoe and look at this cone though this is not really a bad AOE cone. Wow. All right, so for your 650 cash, you will be getting 40 damage per five seconds. But then again, guys, his range is 25 and his semi AOE cone is not even so thin. So yeah, basically from literally from this part up until in front of him, yeah, he's gonna be good at that. Anyway, we now have enough cash to upgrade him again. So on his very first upgrade, you will be spending 500 cash. So that's a total of um, 1150, right? So that's an additional two on his range. Wow. And additional 30 on his damage. So keep in mind, guys, I just got him. So he's only level one. There you go. Wait, did I even... Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Because the uh, I, I thought it didn't actually work, but let's just try to appreciate his animation though. Guys, I wanted to ask you. Yeah, I, I, I almost forgot. I wanted to ask you, what is the power of All Might? Okay, what is, the, what is his power? Is this the teacher of Deku? I don't know. Because uh, I haven't watched that anime. Yeah, I, I was really planning to because it seems that... Uh, a lot of games on Roblox right now are based on uh, My Hero. Is it My Hero Academy or My Hero Academia? Uh, you know what? Just drop it down in the comment section below. But yeah, this is 
His animation is it's not really pretty bad. Well, he doesn't have any weapon, but he's using uh, yeah, the animation is showing some slashes, so I don't really know. Okay, so on his next upgrade, guys, second upgrade, it is going to cost you another 500 bucks. So that's in total of uh, 1650 at this point, and he will have now 120 damage still per five seconds, but his range is now big. Wow. There's a lot of pretty good units. I mean, ground units uh, for this update, not gonna lie. And look at that animation, guys. Wait a minute, is his power like a shockwave? Yeah, it seems so. It, he doesn't have, yeah, he doesn't have any any weapon it's only his bare hands okay uh, that's cool all right so on his next upgrade guys he got four upgrades by the way on his next upgrade it's gonna cost you 875 so from 1650 that will be 1725 um oh my god stop exposing my bad math all right so that would be 2525 i'm just guessing uh, you know what just just get your calculator guys and if ever i'm wrong just to put it on the comment section below so 2225 or no 2525 at this point and he's now damaging 120 at five second per attack okay so let's now do his third upgrade bam all right okay his animation didn't actually change that much but it's only the fact that he's now only only damaging 220 per five seconds with a range of 35 oh my god what is with these units ah listen up developers listen up you guys really need to tighten up you tend to always give us an op unit but all of a sudden you will just nerf him on the next update like bruh it's not really easy to upgrade a unit developers please give us a break okay anyway for his final one, 2525 if I'm not mistaken. So for his final upgrade, he's gonna get, ooh, plus ultra, all right. Plus ultra, uh, nothing changed on his range and also on his uh, second per attack. And wow, 180 damage on top of that? Oh my God, that's 400. And it will cost you 1,500. So 2525, that's gonna be 35 of, oh, oh bruh. I give up. 5,025? I don't know. So let's just max him. You know what? Screw it. Okay, so 400 damage. And let's just see his animation. So he will get like a plus ultra. Oh, wow. Yo. What in the world is happening here? Okay, not gonna lie, guys. This is one of the best animation here. At least on all-star tower defense wow this is really awesome okay all right so anyway first impression he's not really a very cheap unit okay it costs you around five thousand plus to max him out but you know the moment you summon him on the battlefield he's already gonna be a semi aoe unit so that means he is actually good especially for story mode i mean if you are a beginner player then just get all might because he might really be able to help you out guys i mean any anything any unit that is already either semi aoe or full aoe most of the time they're really good for story mode because they are not only good at max but they're already good without any upgrades so that means you will get the most out of your cash so there you have it guys that is the almighty power of all might here in all-star tower defense that's a lot of all <laughs> He's not only gonna be good probably just to help you on maybe finishing around wave 30 on infinite mode if you are really a beginner but also on story mode because of that instant semi AOE that you will be getting even though he's not that cheap but at the same time of course you also have to learn to manage your cash anyway so for those players who already got all might from the previous banner well just drop me down in the comment section below what do you guys think is the best usage of of all might and if you really think that they gave justice to all might because man 
all-star tower defense developers seems to be a little bit biased this couple of updates i mean man levi should be the god of the gods but anyway guys if you enjoyed watching this video as usual just leave a like and of course subscribe oh i'm so tired today and i'll see you guys again on the next one stay cold peace out